Okay. All right. Hi, guys. Hope everybody's doing good. I can't decide if I want to do this one or not. So we're not going to do it first because I can't decide. We're going to do this one first. Okay, so we're going to see how this works. This is one of the ideas in the idea channel in the Discord. See, that doesn't work. Crap. This is why you use painter's tape. I'm going to move this down here one. I'm going to move this to a half, and that'll give me, that'll give me a center, right? That would be better. Hey, Kevin. So, in our ideas channel, Islua put up an idea on how to make a 3D like plaid type image on an acrylic pour. And that's what we're going to attempt to do today. I'm struggling already because I'm rushing because I've been in a huge hurry. And I need to chill out. So I'm trying to do too much in one day. So, how has your guys' days been? What have you been up to? Anything good? I know. I don't like this. Well, I worked today and work was chaos. And then I really wanted to get the Etsy store done. So I attempted to get that done between work and stream. And my hair is still wet because then I ran in and <laughs> tried to take a shower. <laughs> so, you know. Okay. So where's our middle? Like, I need this maybe to be there so I can have an actual middle, right? Because I want that in the middle. And then maybe 
we want these further apart. Like that, like bigger ones. I like this. Took a sneak break from work to make brownies. Nice. Nice. Glad I updated the Etsy store. This isn't quite long enough to go that way because I did that. It's okay. Whatever. This goes here. Yeah, it's been a freaking crazy day for me. And then this one would go right on the edge. So do we like that with them like right on the edge? I need to do this on like a 12 by 12 canvas. That would be much better. That's what she did. Mm, square canvas works better. This is okay. You're, um, you're glad I updated the Etsy store. Why? <laughs> Why? You make me nervous. This is not even. Because you're going shopping. Well... I want you to know that this will go out to you next week. This is the only, the only hint that I will give you about this is that those, those are the canvases. <laughs> and this is your box that I will pack any way I want to. <laughs> well, honestly, it is a flat rate. Oh, skull. It is a flat rate box. So weight doesn't matter. All right. Let me grab my paint. We need black paint. We need our paint brushes. Irish Raven. Do you see this? You see this cup? Are you not here? You do see this cup. Do you see this cup? Do you know where this cup goes? Do you know where it came from? Just go, go. Yes! You have to get these. They're amazing. You need this in your life. It's the best thing ever. If I'd known I was going to love those things so much, I would have bought them like a hundred years ago. I'm telling you right now, they're amazing. All right, I need to clean this out. Yeah, so Miss 89, not going out this week. It will go out next week. What brush should we use? This may be a little one. I need some more light, I can't see. Okay, how do we do this? I'm watching this video. Okay. Oh, she did it with a tiny brush. Like, she barely painted anything on it at all. <laughs> Is it a bald mouse? 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> it's a sleek mouse. It's all sleek. Um. Oh, look, Miss 89 is ready for Sleek Mouse to join us. That's awesome. I love it. Welcome, Sleek Mouse. Seriously, it's good to see you here. My hair will dry at some point. All right. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, thank you. Oh, because of the little, all the little different emojis you can do. Um, so in the Discord, we have an ideas channel. Um where anybody from the community can put in ideas for us to do on stream, right? Um, and they're not necessarily done in any order. We talk about what we're gonna do next, all that kind of stuff. Um, so that every, everything I do is us, right? Like we're making this art because it's everybody's input and mine. I just have to do the work. <laughs> So it's easier on you all, but that's okay. <laughs> um, so there's an ideas channel and uh, Islua put um, a little video in the ideas channel uh, on how to make an acrylic pour painting three-dimensional. So we're gonna try it. I've never done it before. Um, so as I finish these ideas for each little post that there's an idea, right? I put a little check mark, a little blue or green check mark by it. Or I put a no symbol if we've decided not to do it. Uh, and I think we're down to like five that haven't been done. And one of them is difficult. Um, because it's an idea for um, making console skins, right? Like Xbox, PlayStation, all that kind of business. Making of the skins is not difficult, but uh, <laughs> knowing the dimensions, getting the, the correct dimensions to make them is proving difficult. Now I can go online and buy those, but unfortunately when I look at them, um, they, they don't like they cover the vents sometimes or partially cover them. Um, anyway, I haven't found one that I'm, I'm convinced is great. And I don't know the dimensions because I don't own all the systems. I mean, if I owned all the systems, I'd just measure myself and call it a day, but I don't. So, yeah. So I have um, an Xbox One here. And when we do that idea, what I'm probably going to do is just do it for the Xbox One. Measure it myself, right? And figure out exactly how to do it. What systems? Topher is a gameaholic. 
it doesn't matter. I just wanted to make custom a custom console skin. Like, for instance, I know that uh, Skelly that's in here really, really would love a Jack Skellington one. And once I can get those dimensions for whatever systems, right? Like, I'd, I'd, I'd like it for all of them. Uh, then I can start to design it. Because I'll make it out of uh, permanent vinyl. Like, it'll go on like a decal. And I can either cover the entire console or um, make decals that just go over part. But I want to make sure that it doesn't hinder the system. You know what I mean? I don't want to. I don't want to mess up anybody's console. He has like six different ones. Okay. So maybe. Um, maybe that's an idea. Maybe I'll pull out my Xbox. And uh, we'll sit here on the stream and measure it so that you guys can actually see what I'm talking about. And then if somebody has a game system that I don't, they could give me like the correct measurements, you know what I mean? Because they'd understand how I'm how I'm measuring it, what I'm what I'm looking for. That's probably a good idea. We could do that. But I think that would be cool to do. I think it would be really fun to make them um, um, branded for streamers. So I suppose maybe the first one I do should be my own. I can make a Mrs. Xbox. I can make a Beta Cat Xbox. <laughs> That'd be kind of fun. Okay, so coming up on the last bit of this first piece. Doesn't look like much of anything, does it? But that's okay, because now we're going to have to do the second piece, which I do believe will prove to be a little more difficult. It doesn't look difficult. But these videos never do when they're sped up, right? <laughs> it always looks easy until you get into it. You guys can see what's behind me. I didn't realize you could see that table. So then, we peel this off,
Sleek Moss. I can't see what you're trying to say. I don't know what's censoring that out, but it's making me crazy. Because even in auto mod, I can't see it. And I would like to be able to. Oh, it's a link. Uh, whisper it to me. You send it in Discord? Perfect. Okay. So then... Hang on, I'm pulling this up. Can you click on them? Right, okay, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so if you click on Xbox One, right, it shows it's 13.1 inches across, okay? But if you look at the front of an Xbox One, there's the circle logo that's gotta be cut out. There's this gap that has to be cut out. There's a gap that goes beneath that and a gap between there. So the dimensions that I need are of this square with the Circle Xbox logo cut out, this line underneath it, this piece here, this piece here. I need all of those dimensions, right? So that would be 13.1 inches by a half an inch. This piece would be, say, 7 inches by 2.5. You see what I'm saying? Like I need all of like the little, that's where, that's exactly where I'm running into a problem. Thank you. I appreciate having this. Definitely. But yeah, that's exactly where I'm running into the problem. Okay, so I'm gonna need to cut this straight to do this, right? So like this would go here. Yep, exactly. Yeah, and that's ex that's exactly where I'm at right this second. Like that's that's as far as I've gotten. And then this would go can you can you not what are you doing maybe I'm not seeing this right So she puts a piece of tape across. Okay, hang on. So she puts a piece of tape across here and there, right? 
and then one goes up and down here and then a piece goes across here this way and then these go up and down so I'm overthinking it that's what my problem is I'm having an overthinking day today can I help you with something tracks then this one goes here this goes here why do you want the tape this one goes this way Dude, do you want some tape? This is the special cat. He's not like, like he doesn't really know how to cat. You know what I'm saying? He's not brilliant. And he's not bothered by anything. <laughs> Beta would hate everything about this. He's 100% not even bothered by it. <laughs> Trax, come here. Here. Look, I'll wad this up and you can play with it. You want to play with this? You want to play with it? Come on. There you go. <laughs> okay. So then this goes this way. This goes this way. Kako! What's up? It's making me nervous. I'm going to mess this up. Because it takes thinking. And my little brain has had quite the day today. So thinking is a, a struggle. I get all of them? You think so? You're excited for tomorrow. <gasps> really? Oh, that is so fun. Oh my gosh. You have to put pictures in the Discord and show me. Check it out, it worked. Oh, I'm sure they will. I'm sure they will. You guys will do great. It actually worked.
I'm sure they'll turn out great. I am, I'm so excited. This is gonna be so awesome. I can't wait to see what you guys do. Who else is gonna do it? Just you and Eric or everybody? Awesome. It's so much fun. I mean, it's messy though, but it's worth it. But there's so many different things you can do with it. Like that's the cool part. You hope it doesn't turn brown. Okay, well there's a lot of different ways you can do it. If you're really worried about the paint colors uh, blending together, don't start with a dirty pour, right? You know how I, I do all of the different colors in one cup? That's called a dirty pour. And it has it's it is the most likely for that paint to mix up and, and turn gray or brown, right? So if you're really worried about it, um, particularly if you don't have a lot of materials to work with, right? Because like I have a ton sitting here because I do this all the time. So it's easier for me if I have a mistake. Um, but in the beginning, I didn't start there. Where I started was um, I had all of my individual cups, right? And then I would pour just a little, like the size of a quarter, right? A little bit of paint in the center, and then a little bit of paint in the center of, of that same dot, like you're making a target, right? Yeah, perfect, okay. So you're gonna put a flood on the canvas, right? That's where I put like all white or all black or whatever color all over the whole canvas first. And then I've got like let's say four different colors in cups sitting here. So I'll take the first cup and I'll pour a little, a little circle in the center and then I'll take the second cup, pour a little circle on top of the other one and then keep doing it, right, with all the different colors until I have this puddle that keeps moving out. That is the least likely to mix together and turn gray or brown. It is the easiest to handle. So for your first one, I would recommend starting there, definitely. That's where I started, and it was easiest for me. Um, I like doing the dirty cup pours. Like, that's fun for me. Um, but it is riskier if you don't have a lot of materials, right? Um, but doing the target ones, where you're pouring one on top, the other on top, the other on top the canvas, and then moving them around are really, really cool. Like that's really fun too. But you definitely have to flood the canvas. You gotta put paint all over the canvas first. Um, but yeah, that's exciting. I can't wait to see. We have so much talent in here. Irish Raven um, paints, does furniture. 
Miss 89 crochets. She made these coolest. Oh, I don't know if the person, the person's got them already, right? They already got them. She made these really, really cool coasters. Crocheted them for Halloween. They're adorable. What are you doing? Keko cross stitches. Irk does leather work. Like everybody's got something, like it's really cool. If we all got together, we'd have like the coolest store in the world because you'd just have everything in it. Uh, in the ideas channel, Is Lua demonstrated this, this way to make a, a um, acrylic pour and do this plaid thing with it. And so we did that with the tape the way the video showed. But I just made straight lines and I want them to be um, a little more shaded. So I'm just pulling some black paint around a little bit and kind of shading these. Not perfect. I want it to be a little rough. Uh, so that we can get this better 3D effect that we're going for. I wanted to try it out since she had put it in the ideas channel and I thought it looked cool. This is probably the wrong painting to do it on, but I have these two green paintings that I am not particularly happy with. So they are perfect to try out something new on because I already don't like them. So you know that's a thing. It happens sometimes. Not every pour is a good pour, right? But the canvas doesn't have to go to waste. I mean I can always reuse the canvas. And they're great for trying out something new on. Blues. I'm telling you right now, those contrasting colors, they turn out the best, right? Purples with oranges. And no matter what you do, if you add any yellow to a blue, you're going to get green. This would look a thousand times better if it was a square canvas. Look at that. Wouldn't that look better if it was square? A thousand times better. Um... Well, I will tell you that this painting, this is a dirty cup pour though. That's red, white, and blue. And it's purple. And it's like bright red. Yeah. But that's pouring out of a cup, right? Now, this painting is pouring directly onto the canvas. You see the difference? This is a white, a light metallic blue. Hey, Liza Jane, a royal blue and black. Yeah, so we poured this here, right? And then moved it around. And then I took a straw and blew it with a straw and moved it around even more so we could get like this wave look coming up on the mountains, right? So your colors are much more separate, right? They pop more. However, if you take a bunch of primary and secondary or even tertiary colors, 
like we just did with this, right? This was on Monday that we made this one. You can get some really, really vibrant effects. And this is stunning. I mean, the colors in there are just amazing, right? So this is, um, yes. An island scene from above. Oh, yeah. Um, the husband said it looks like a phoenix because he saw all this as fire, like a phoenix rising up from the ash, which I thought was amazing too. Yeah. So from this side, people see a wolf or a boar. right? So the cool thing about having this on your wall, right, is every time you look at it, there's something else. I mean, there's always something new. That's one of the things that I love about these paintings. It does look kind of like a ghost, right? So this is purple, teal, emerald green, yellow, orange, white, and black. So if you were looking to do something along these lines in blue, then I would say uh, do a teal and a true blue, right? A real blue. And the purple, yellow, orange, black, and white. I love the depth of this painting. I mean, it's, it's sad. I have a really good camera, a really good camera. <laughs> and you guys just can't see what I see. I mean, it doesn't even come close. It's Casper. <gasps> I mean, especially like the camera does better with color. <laughs> But like with the black and white ones, you can't see how deep this looks. I mean, it looks like you could fall in that hole. Right? It looks like all of this is standing out from the canvas. Hey, Graham. But the camera just, you know, can't see what the human eye can see. It's just not the same. And that's okay. Broken spaceship window, nice, yes. Mm-hmm, yeah, it's a galaxy. Yeah, that's where the imposters go to die. I got like every everything on that wall is so crooked for me picking it up. So, we've done this, and I pretty much hate everything about it. I just want you to know. Oh, is there a story I need to tell? What story do I need to tell? How did she do this? I mean, it's effective. I can see it, but I don't think I like it. The girl fire. Yes. Yes. Okay. So once upon a time <laughs> in my own backyard, not far away, uh, <laughs> Okay, so before I tell this story, I should let you know that on occasion, when the husband leaves, uh, it's a good time to get shit done. Okay? 
like let's clean the garage and throw everything away. Stuff like that. It's a good time to purge things that would take a discussion otherwise, okay? So, <laughs> it's not like I'm throwing his stuff away, okay? I'm, I'm throwing away stuff that he, he never even notices has left the building, okay? Like, just things. Excess things that sit around that don't need to be sitting around, okay? That we'll use it someday? No, we won't. No, we won't. Lose it. Okay, anyway. So... Uh, he went hunting with his brother. <laughs> is this gonna get, is this gonna bother you, Sleek Moss? Oh, you should know I've been married for 30 years. Um, this is not something that negatively impacts my marriage. So it's a, it's a, it's an agreement that we have. Um, so anyway, he goes hunting with his brother, so he's out of state. And I know I have the whole weekend. Uh, there is a tree row that I've been wanting to get rid of, okay? And it was a we'll get to it someday thing. Well, we have to do this right now, so we'll get to that later. And it, it never got done, right? So it's one of those things. So he's out of town, so it's a good time to do those things. So I go out back. And uh, so this little tree row is about um, 40 feet long and six or eight feet wide. Okay, so it's not small. So I go out with my daughter, Dark, and we cut everything to the ground. And then, because, you know, everything's there, um, I have all of this stuff to burn. So I have a, a big uh, tractor rim that's a fire pit in the back, that, like we sit around the fire pit, but we use it uh, to burn brush and stuff like that. <laughs> so uh, we began stacking all of this stuff up, right? And it's green. I mean, we just, we just cut it down. It's all green, okay? Uh, and then I was like, hey, <laughs> I've got a bunch of like, old cardboard boxes and like cat crate and stuff like that that needs to go. Look, the cardboard crap, temporary cat crate things that needs to go. I'm going to go get all that stuff. We'll put it in here. And then uh, if we have enough of that stuff, we'll just light this baby on fire. Well, also in the attic is um, three boxes full of Christmas wrap that was my husband's mother's. He's not saving this. We're never going to use this. It's just out of sight, out of mind in the attic, right? So nobody's ever done anything with it. It's just sitting there. So I pull all that out and I wad it all up and shove it all between all of this green shrubbery, okay? Now, mind you, this pile is taller than me and probably 10 feet around, maybe 15. So uh, Dark, my daughter, and I uh, light this on fire. <laughs> and uh, it went up, okay? No, 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 it was, not, it was not a small pile. It was good, probably eight or nine feet tall when I started. Now, um, by the fire pit is a pole barn, okay? It's a, a great big pole barn. It's uh, like 40 by 60 foot pole barn, right? That's metal sided. So we light this up and it just takes off, right? Just <laughs> smoke everywhere because everything is green. <laughs> so there's smoke rolling through my neighbor's backyards, okay? There's smoke rolling through the back of my property and into the cornfield. I mean, everywhere, right? Ashes falling through the sky. I, this is, it's just going crazy. So my neighbor <laughs> comes over and he goes, uh, hey, hey, how you doing? I was like, I'm good, what's up? He's like, uh, is the husband home? <laughs> like, obviously not. <laughs> 
<laughs> or I wouldn't be out here doing this. Right? <laughs> it's like, uh, does he, uh, does he know you're doing this? Like, no. <laughs> no. And my daughter's like, it's a girl fire. Right? We're not having any little man fire. We're having a girl fire. And she's like, rah. Like, she's loving life. Okay? Like, she's, <laughs> this is the best thing ever to her. <laughs> so, so my neighbor's like, all right, well, you know, uh, call me if you need me. You got a hose handy or anything? I'm like, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Now, mind you, as I'm talking to him, my back is to <laughs> this fire, which we're quite a ways away from. <laughs> and I turn around and look. And at this point, because I'm quite a ways away, I can see how big it actually is. And that the flames are taller than the barn. And it occurs to me that this may be a problem. So this is probably too late for this to occur to me that I might have a problem, but this is the point at which it occurs to me that maybe this fire is a little too big, right? And I should have clued in that my daughter was just like, yes, that maybe we'd gone too far. So I'm like, hey, hey, get back, get back from it. I've got two spigots out by the barn. Both of them have hoses connected to them. Everything is perfectly safe. There's no worries, okay? So we're standing back in the yard and uh, my neighbor from across the street comes walking over, right? <laughs> hey, uh, what, you, what, you, what you doing? <laughs> and again, they wanna know if my husband is here, okay? Now mind you, I live on a street full of old people. Everybody, the average age on my street is about 75, okay? So I am their kid's age. And they all, they all have the mindset that, you know, I can't do anything on my own, that I, I, my husband would have to do everything, okay, because it's a generational thing. So they're all like, uh, hey, uh, you know, where's your uh, husband? I'm like, he's out of state. You know, does he know you're doing this? Nope. <laughs> it's fine, right? So this happens three times. Nobody calls the fire department, mind you, because my neighbors all, we all know each other and it's cool, whatever, but nobody calls the fire department. Nobody, <laughs> nobody actively does anything. They just walk over to check and make sure that my husband is aware that I'm burning, you know, half my property down. So uh, this fire goes really, really quick, by the way. I mean, it was hotter than hell. It's green wood and sticks and leaves and uh, two gigantic boxes of wrapping paper and a bunch of cardboard. So it just lit up and then died right back down and it was like done, okay? Um, <laughs> so in the meantime, around the fire pit are all these like half burnt sticks and crap, right? So while it's still on fire, we've got rakes and we're out there and we're like, you know, picking them up and getting them back closer to the fire pit. And, um, so we got everything all cleaned up and everything, and, and we, we were done. We, we left it and went back in the house, okay? So uh, the husband comes home, and um, he's going to go, I think he was smoking pork butts. I don't remember what. So he's going to go out to the barn, pull the smoker out, and he's going to smoke some pork butts. So he goes to walk back there, and I want you to know this, okay? Walking through the backyard, he does not notice that the tree row is missing. He doesn't notice this. He walks all the way back there and doesn't notice that 40 foot of trees is gone, okay? You walk through the trees. There's 40 foot this way, there's about 30 feet this way, and you walk through a path through them. He doesn't notice that this is missing. He walks out there, what he does notice is the gigantic burn ring in front of the barn. <laughs> Which, mind you, was hard to miss. But you would have thought he would have noticed the trees were gone. So he stops and comes back in the house and he's like, what were you burning? I said, are you serious? You don't know what I was burning? He's like, no, what were you burning? Uh, the tree row by the barn. He said, oh, did you trim it up? I said, yeah. Yeah, I trimmed it. <laughs> and then he walked back out to the barn, and that's when he noticed that all the trees were gone. Yeah. 
Yeah. So. By the way, Sleek Mouse, this is why when he leaves, it's no worries that I can do all this stuff because if this man wouldn't notice that I cut down 40 foot of tree row, he's not going to notice if I threw away a box of stuff out of the garage. <laughs> I mean, seriously, it's just not even an issue. <laughs> <coughs> yes, so that's the girl fire story. Yes, we had a girl fire. Fox, what's up? Fox is afraid of me. Hi, Shay Shay. Moustache is away. I guess I can I can close down your stream now. If I could move my arm without this dog bothering me. What's up? Shay Shay's following. Hey, thank you. It's a raid. What's up, Kaden? Did you get your slug done? Fox has been painting a slug. She refuses to put a salt shaker on it because it's a baby slug, but I think she should. Chat, shall we vote? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just start the controversy right now. <laughs> it is, it, it actually is cute for a slug. <laughs> Thanks for raiding, by the way. There should be so. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Fox, um, <laughs> Uh, Fox paints uh, like watercolor galaxies that are just absolutely gorgeous, but she also paints in acrylics. Um, and she's just, she's just a great person. She's just a great person. So if you don't follow Fox or check her out, you should, because uh, she's amazing. No, you. Um, yeah, she's amazing. Look, we made this crap. I don't like it. This dog, though. We were experimenting with a new process. I don't like it. You want it? <laughs> yes, that's what we're looking to achieve. Okay, so uh, in the ideas channel, somebody put this concept up, right? Over an acrylic pour. So underneath this is an acrylic pour right? Like one of these bad boys or this. Right, Fox? Exactly. Sometimes stuff just doesn't work out. So both of these pours I don't like. The original one before I did this plaid business on it and this one. So I was like, these are perfect paintings to try this concept out on. This is the pour that I did to try this concept out on, but I like it. So I didn't want to do, <laughs> I didn't want to try this out on one that I like because look, it's all metallic, it's in black and white. Like the glow up on this thing is real. Did you see the one that we did on um, Monday? I mean, I know I just showed it on stream, so everybody's just seen it, but. Oh my gosh. It's so freaking cool. I want you guys to see how deep those colors get. Like, it just makes me so mad. You can't see how deep it is. It's so cool. Right? I freaking love that one. But you know how I am. I always love the last thing I did, right? I love everything until I do something else, and then I like that better. <laughs> until this painting. I don't like this one. We're going to have to do something about it. I mean, I like that it's got that 3D effect. That's cool. That's what we were going for. So I know I can achieve it, right? Um, 
but I think I need a lot more dimension, a lot more color in the pour before you do this with it to make it look right. Like this, you hold these two paintings side by side, it doesn't even look like the same person painted them. So not a fan, right? That's what I'm saying. I think it needs a whole bunch more before you do the plaid on top of it. Um, so that's probably what we'll end up doing. But I would like to show you my solution for a painting that sucks, just in case anybody ever wondered what I do. If I don't like something. <laughs> because here's the thing okay so if you really and and this is and I'm being dead serious okay if you really paint something that you are unhappy with and you don't like it and it isn't something that adding details can correct it or you can you know continue painting and you can fix it and it's just not something that you like right like this painting, what I don't like is what's underneath that plaid. I can't fix that. So, exactly. Some people um, like want time to think about it. You know, maybe if I look at it for a while, I'll like it better later. Sometimes that works. And for some people, it's good. For some people, if something that you don't like is sitting around, it will draw your eye. You will look at it over and over and over again, right? And then what happens is you start to, like it messes with your self-esteem, messes with your head. Because you're looking at a painting that sucks. <laughs> I see a green painting and I want to paint it black, right? Um, yeah, this will this will just become a canvas that we do a um, an acrylic pour on with a black background, right? That's what'll happen to it, and I'll get to reuse this canvas, so I'm not, you know, wasting money I don't have or whatever. But I have to cover it. Because if I do an acrylic pour, I really don't want to see plaid stripes underneath it either. So this little canvas is going to get a brand new life. I do like this concept though, and we're definitely going to revisit it. I just think it needs a it needs a different base to start with. It needs something new. But you know it's a cool thing about art, not everything has to work out the way that you think it's going to. I mean, everything's a learning process, and it's okay. Give yourself permission to start fresh, right? Give yourself permission to make a mistake or to not like something. That's okay. Okay, go eat something. Thank you so much for raiding. I appreciate you sharing everybody with me.
Look at that. It's freaking beautiful. It's my favorite color. <laughs> it actually is. Okay, so we know that didn't work with this one, so it obviously won't work with this one. What are we going to do with this canvas? What do you guys see? Like I almost want to do a pour over the top of it. There's some things that are cool about it. Like I love these black layers, but they're just not quite defined and it just looks like a blob basically. iridescent paint that's a thought just pour color over it hold this next to the chain pull one Uh, uh, the new one, the newest one with the waves, like that. When we made this, everybody said it looked like it was under the ocean, like there was going to be starfish and stuff there. Now, that one, I 100% didn't think could be saved from the beginning. This one, however, mm -hmm. I do have, um, well, yes, you can do that with Floetrol. It's not really recommended because it doesn't quite lay right. But I do have, well, let's just do, let's just do an experiment. Oh, I don't have enough two part epoxy to do that. something that I have not tried <laughs> if I had some blue look at you you're killing me killing me let me set this over here out of the way so that can dry I have these guys that I've never experimented with and I have wanted to Um, black oxide, that's a lavender oxide, orchid oxide, white oxide, yellow, cobalt blue, look at all the purples, violet, green, a teal, and some red, brown, and brown. Hmm. We could test this out. Let's test this out. I 
I'm curious. Let's get rid of this. Let's sit this over here out of the way. Um, I need to grab some cups. I need to put my wood burner away. I think I need that out here. I'm out of cups. That's no good. Am I completely out of cups? Do I have any cups? I gotta make an Amazon order like today. I just don't have time. Or I didn't have time today. There's gotta be some cups in here, right? Like somewhere, shouldn't there be some cups? Cups with paint on the outside of them. But that's workable. How many do I need? I need three, right? And some Floetrol. You know what I'm tempted to do is use So an option to this as a painting medium uh, um, is you can use glue all in water. Glue all, not school glue. It has to be glue all. You can use glue all in water. I don't necessarily like it with paint, but I've never tried it with the oxides. So, I think we're going to do that. This is a less expensive version. But the quality difference is um, significant in my mind. No, this is not the water. That's the water I'm drinking. This is the water I'm using for this. That's my drinking water. That's my paintbrush water. Try not to drink my paintbrush water. I don't know how this will turn out. I'm curious now. I thought I had some pearlescent ones as well, but these are all matte. This feels pretty heavy to me. I don't know. That's mixed up enough. Paintbrush water, right? I've drank it more than once. It's not good. It's like reason number 100 that I have to have non toxic paints. <laughs> like the cats and the dog aren't enough, but. 
and this one is too thin. This one's too thick, this one's too thin. But yeah, I've reached up and grabbed my paintbrush a lot more times than I can count and took a drink of it. It's disgusting. I caught myself before I did it too, but. Okay. Let's see. Oh my gosh, this is like really fine. I'm going to shut the ceiling fan off. Oh, yes. <gasps> Lemons, what's up? Yes, that's a, that's definitely a thing too. Put cigarettes in a pop can. You go to take a drink of pop. Yeah, it's cobalt. I'm curious to see if these will even mix. Like, will they just stay chunked up together or will they actually color this. They sort of do. This is weird stuff. Now that glue will be clear. I mean, it's, you can see the blue in it. But the glue will be clear, so what will this do? Just leave like a barely blue sheen over the top? Because if that's the case, this isn't going to work at all. And it's actually just like specks. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like it. That's not going to work. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it's got like flecks of blue in it. I mean, which is kind of cool. I don't mind having flex blue, <laughs> but I would like for it to be, you know, blue. Hmm. <laughs> I bet that's too close to the same color. What if I did... like a baby blue. I'm processing chat. Okay, so we're almost out of this paint. <coughs> <coughs> That's gone. Now I'm going to end up with a ton of paint mixed. And we're going to have to pour on new canvases. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see that? Can you see the blue flex in it? So now it's like baby blue. Yeah, you can kind of see it with these little cobalt blue specks, which is kind of cool. Baby canvases. Oh, <gasps> we could do the baby canvases. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I can't pour on this. 
We could do the baby canvases. Yes. Yeah, that's kind of a cool effect, right? Before I make a gigantic mess, maybe we should lay this out. Protect my table. So blue, I need some white, and I really do think I want a darker blue. I think I want a light blue, a dark blue, and a white. That's what I think I want. Not a lot of contrast here, but that's okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, we could do the pores on the baby canvases. Gecko. I'm so excited. We could do a set of those tonight. That would be fun. You know, I'm doing all this like I think I got supplies here and I don't. Okay, so Keko. I'm going to demonstrate to you what I was talking about with a target pour, okay? So actually that pour is about closer to a dime, but it spreads out to a quarter. And you're going to pour just about the same amount in each color. Now, you're, when you do this, you're going to do this in the center of your canvas, right? And you're going to move it around the whole canvas. So yours will be different than what I'm doing right now.
It's not going to matter how I pour this over. It's going to look like two separate paintings poured over one another. Silicone. Yes, 100%. I can. You grab another cup. I need two cups. What are you doing, Skull? Yeah, it doesn't matter how I do this. This painting is toast. Miss 89, I'm so sorry. Your painting is toast. Okay, I'm going to show you how silicone works. I'm not trying to be short or whatever. I'm trying to get this done really quick before this paint starts drying because now I have a halfway pour. And that's not okay. So, yes, I can show you how silicone works just a second. Skull, no. That's my drinking water. So, silicone. This is a silicone that I use. I bought it at, you can buy any hardware store, anything, right? That's a three in one high temp silicone. It's used to lubricate machine parts. And it's, uh, what is it? 100 to 500 degrees, multi surface, quick drying. Right? Quick drying is key. So, that's the silicone that I use. Bunch of different brands out there. Uh, I like that one because it doesn't leave an oily film or a silicone film, I guess it's not oil, a silicone film on my canvas because I do clear coat my canvases to protect them. I can't have that film be on them, right? Like it doesn't work. because then the clear coat doesn't stick right. So this dries fast, it's great. Um, but I can show you what it does. So I'm gonna do the same type of pour, I'm gonna do it over the entire canvas. I'm gonna use silicone, right? And I'm gonna put about three drops in the green and three drops in the yellow. I'm not gonna put it in all my paint, I'm just gonna put it in these two paints. I'm gonna stir that up a little bit. So that silicone is kind of dispersed, right? And then we're going to pour this entire canvas before this paint dries. This has the flex in it. No, this does. All right, good, 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 good. I'm just going to flood this canvas here real quick. Don't want a ton of paint on it, but I want enough that my paint's going to move, right? So I don't put silicone in all of my paints. I want the silicone to move from the bottom to the top, meaning that silicone pushes the colors that I've put on the bottom through the other colors and it makes really cool cells, right? 
So silicone is in blue, or in, excuse me, the green and yellow. So the green is there. I'm gonna put this blue on top. White. Light blue. Yellow has silicone in it. I don't want the blue with the yellow. I want white in between. Green has silicone in it. Yellow has silicone in it. That blue and green is going to mix. That yellow and green is going to mix. So paint without silicone in it will not naturally develop cells, right? I'm going to put some green on top. A little bit of yellow on top. So now I've got layers of silicone and layers of regular paint with medium in it, right? Uh, I'm covering a canvas. Uh, we're kind of doing some experiments. And uh, Keko here is about to start doing some acrylic pours. So we're giving her some ideas on how to do these. So the other thing to remember, and I know I've said this a thousand times, is you can't have too much paint on your canvas or it will crack and craze. And you don't want that, right? So you have to make decisions about what to keep. and what you're willing to lose on these. I'm going to flip this this other way. Oh, hey, Ryder. Yeah, right? I love doing the acrylic pours. So, let me get enough paint off my hand that I can move this. I'm going to zoom in for real quick, right? Because I want you to see what I'm talking about with cell development. Uh, focus, thank you. You see these dots that are forming right here? Right, there's some forming over here. There's a nice example right there. See how that color is pushing through? Right? So you've got, you've got cells developing all over this painting right now, right? So the painting we see right now, 100% is not going to be the painting that we end up with. If you use a micro torch like this one, right, you're going to get smaller cells. If you use a heat gun, you're going to get bigger cells. Scully the cattle on. So we're going to heat this up. Knock some of the bubbles out of it, right? And this is going to create even more cell development because it's going to heat up that silicone. It's high heat silicone. And it's going to move it to the top of the paint. Now, I don't want to burn my acrylic paint. I don't want to start to dry it. I want to heat it up and move it, right? So I want movement and I want cell development, but I don't want to burn my paint. 
So you want to keep this a little ways away. And you do have to be careful you're using a micro torch. Right? It is a big old flame. So I am going to focus this heat on areas that I want development on. So now we've got all kinds of cells developing, right? And I like that. It's good. <laughs> yeah, there's some science behind it, right? Uh, it's not. Now what you're going to see is I'm going to move this a little bit. I'm going to stretch some of these cells out, right? Because I have a tiny bit of extra paint. See that paint moving? I have a little bit of extra paint on my canvas that I can get rid of that I saved just for this. Now if I want to, I can move this back. I can heat this up again. And we can pull some more cells. Now, I haven't used Floatrol with this. Exactly, Russ. Right? It heats it up, it thins it out, and they move. So the movement on this paint is not what I'm used to because I use Floatrol all the time. And I really like it. But I want to move this green up here just a little bit. So that I can stretch that out. It's very nice. Well, I think that's a great place to start. Nothing wrong with it, Sleek Mouse. So you don't have to do it. It does knock the air bubbles out of the paint. Um, you probably shouldn't have to worry too much about it, right? I really like how that looks but I want this one piece right here to move. Flow Charles also self-leveling, which makes this whole thing much easier. This particular mixture is not. And it's so sticky. We're using a homemade pouring medium that I no longer use anymore. Uh, I buy it at um, Lowe's, Menards, Home Depot. It's in the paint section. It's literally a latex paint medium. Yeah. Any, any hardware store, anywhere that sells paint, it's the same place I get my silicone.
this is so sticky. I'm used to it being slick in the flow of trail. Uh, but by far my preference, okay? One, it flows better, okay? It just moves better. I have more control when I'm using it. Two, silicone moves better within it like a thousand times. Um, and three, it's self-leveling. By that I mean if I'm using a straw and blowing things around, right? If I'm doing like a, a swipe or anything like that, it's gonna level. The paint will be perfectly even across there. Oh, do they have silicone at Walmart, really? Uh, I bought this for $3 in the hardware department. Um, you can see it's almost, you can kind of see it's almost full. Can you see where it's at? You can barely see it. Kind of see it right there? Because I only use two to four drops at a time. So I've done, oh, uh, we got, oh, there's a cat in my chair. Son of a bitch. Um, we've got to be coming up on close to, we got to be coming up close to 100 pours, right? Yeah, I love this. This is my favorite kind. I don't know how to say your name. Orf? Tell me, tell me, tell me what your preference is to call you. And thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate it. Yeah, I really, this is my very favorite one. High heat, fast drying. I don't end up with little blobs of silicone that I have to worry about when I clear coat my paintings. There's nothing there. There's no residue. It never feels oily or slick. Orphic, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I suck with names. So thank you for being understanding. WD-40 silicone? Um, I don't think the spray would work. So something else that people say you can use that I don't recommend is um, rubbing alcohol, right? 70%. I got a spray bottle of it, and you spray it across the top of your paintings, and then you move them around a little bit, and that's supposed to create cell development, um, but it doesn't really work, like at all. So, but that's just my preference. That doesn't mean that that's where you have to start, right? Like you can start anywhere. I started using this glue all and water as a medium. And I started by using that and paint like half and half. 100%, you're not wrong there, Russ. It is difficult to find now. Um, that's where I started. And then as I have progressed in this, right, I found that my best recipe is one part paint one part distilled or spring water, not tap. Five parts Floetrol, right? So if this is an ounce, an ounce, this is five ounces, if you want to measure it that way. And then about two to four drops of silicone. So it's two to four because if I have this cup, three quarters of the way full of paint, that's going to be four drops. If it's this full of paint, it's going to be two, right? So it varies depending on how much paint you've got. Um, but that's my recipe. And I 100%, I, I couldn't be happier with it. I mean, I can tell a huge difference in doing this pour right now from how it feels with the flow trawl. So, but that's, you know, that's a personal preference. And like I said, I've been doing this for a minute and you kind of find your groove after a while, right? It's like anything else that you practice. You get into a groove, you look, you, you find what works for you. And that doesn't necessarily work for everybody, but, you know, works for me. get this painting set over here so it can drip. 
even if it doesn't turn out good. Even if you don't think it's good, I want to see no matter what. I'm so excited. I'm legit excited for you guys because this is so fun. Hey, hey, we're not fighting. Go. Walk out. Out, 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 out. Scoot, scoot, scoot. I was saying we're not fighting to you. Be nice. Buddy, I can't, I can't, I've got paint all over me. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying, Russ. Like, that's, I'm not trying to say that's the only way you can do it. You know what I mean? It's a process where you find what works. So that's where I started. This happens to be where I ended up. A year from now, I may have found something else that I think is great, right? It's always a process. And you can start anywhere. You don't have to have one of these. I already had one because of jewelry, right? Oh, <laughs> writer. Um, yeah, right? That's the cool thing. You see different pictures in it. You see, right? It's like, um, here's the thing. The thing that drew me to acrylic pores, the thing that I like about them, one, it is so fun to see what develops, right? Just, what can I do if I just pour paint on a canvas? If I get really messy <laughs> um, and just have fun, is that okay? Is that permitted, right? Like giving yourself permission to do something that you don't know how it's going to turn out and then accepting that, absolutely, it's all water-based. Washes right off of everything. Um, wouldn't get it on carpet though, I will tell you the pigment will dye fabric. Um, but you never know how it's gonna turn out, right? And then if you hate it, you paint over it, and you do it again, because you can. Right? So it's, it's awesome. And I've made some like really cool stuff that just amazes me. The stories, um, the stories that are in these paintings because I make them with you guys is, is where my value is, right? Yeah, I can't repeat a painting. I can't make it exactly the same. I can come close, but I can't come exact. I, I can't do it exactly the same. Ever. Did you just throw that ball at my keyboard? Buddy, I can't play with you right now. No, I have paint. I have paint. I can't pet you. I love you though. I love you though. Right? It's very freeing. Here's the thing. So when I started volunteer on Thursdays, I volunteer stream for uh, a not-for-profit, absolutely one of a kind, um, called Creative Vets. Okay? On Twitch, it's Creative Vets Live. I would shout them out, but I have paint on my hands and I need to go wash them. Um, and one of the first things that I wanted to do with Creative Vets was acrylic pores. So as I just did that painting, right, every turn of my wrist is a decision and it has to be made right now. You don't have the freedom to stop and look and think about it. You have to make choices right now, right? But they're not hard choices. We'll just move this a little bit left. We'll just move this a little bit right, right? We're going to put the paint back in the center, move it back out again, back and forth. So you're making a hundred little choices in a canvas and they're easy to make, right? You just do it. You just move with the paint and it's easy to do it. It really, really is, I promise. You just let it happen. You relinquish control and you let it happen, right? You can. This painting is an example of that. I took a stir stick and pulled through here to get all of this little lines in the wave. Yeah. Right? Well, here's the thing. If you have any type of anxiety, right, 
about making choices in your life, if you experience depression where you feel frozen and you can't make any choices in your life, doing this type of artwork is an immediate, immediately, you realize that you just made a hundred choices in a canvas. And they were easy, right? One of the things that this type of art does is it helps empower you to make choices because you've already done it. If you could make a hundred in five minutes, can you actually make that one that you've already been thinking about, right? Or that you've been avoiding or that you've been deflecting about. So when I started volunteering for Creative Vets, and that organization works to empower veterans to heal through the arts, right? One of the first things I wanted to do was acrylic pours. I was like, this is what we need to do. Because literally anyone watching can do this. You can pick up the ingredients and you can do it and you can create something unique for you. But this type of art is immediate gratification, one, right? It's absolutely empowering as an artist to do this. Now, you can take this technique and advance it too, okay? So where you start is not necessarily where you end with this. I mean, you know, this is a black and white snowflake obsidian geode painting. I could not have started with something like this, right? Um, no, I use Mod Podge. I clear coat it with Mod Podge. Very inexpensive, wonderful clear coat, and it helps to, um, it helps make them, um, the, the acrylic paints um, aren't going to be damaged by light. Well, can I get my camera to focus? Can you focus on the Mod Podge and not the green paint, please? What's up, camera? Um, uh, you don't have to use this option. This is a personal preference. It makes them easier to dust. They don't get damaged. Uh, it makes it easier for shipping so that I don't have to be concerned that anything is, um, is gonna fall off the paintings when I've added, uh, like gemstones, I use a dimensional it's called Dimensional Magic. That's what I adhere the gemstones to the, to the canvas with. Um, um, but yeah, it's inexpensive. Model making, yeah. Oh, to clear coat your models after you paint them? Mm -hmm, a lot of people do. Uh, it's inexpensive, but it's really nice. I like it because I can dust them and they don't ever get damaged. <laughs> Type of virus. Um, and I can dust them with a wet cloth. They're not waterproof, but Mod Podge is not waterproof. Right? And again, personal preference. You can get a spray sealant if you want. Or you can not seal them at all. I mean, they're acrylic paintings. As long as you take care of them. This isn't gonna work, guys. I need this paint. I need this paint to be here. Okay, so I'm gonna get four of these bad boys right here. Oh, clever. Clever, clever, clever. Okay, I'm going to do a dirty cut pour. Um, green and yellow have silicone in them. I'm going to stir them up real quick because that silicone will have settled because we've been chatting. Just gonna stir them all, you know, just in case. Doesn't hurt to be stirred. So, um, if you're gonna do a dirty cut pour, right? Like what we just did on that canvas was a target pour. 
Uh, I use matte. There are certain canvases that I've used gloss for, but I prefer the matte. So, when you're, when you're pouring a dirty cup, you have to remember that the first paint you put in the cup will be the last paint out, right? Because it's going to be on the bottom. So the last paint you pour in the cup will be the first paint that you put on the canvas. So you want to stack this paint the opposite way that you want it to come out. So, I'm going to put some yellow on the bottom. I'm going to do some blue because that's going to make a nice green color. Do some white. I'm going to throw in this lime green. Put dark blue on top of that. Light blue, yellow so that we get some contrast with the greens and blues, some white on that, more dark blue, more yellow, the last of my yellow, more dark blue because that's the first thing I want to come out of this last of my dark blue. Oops. Right? Pledge for polish, clear coating models of protects. Oh, there you go. Okay. Okay. So, here's our cup with our colors in it. I've twisted the cup so that I'm pouring out of this side, the same side that I poured in, right? This is going to make such a mess. Look at this. It's so muddy. I'm almost getting no contrast at all. But that's okay. Because if that happens, we're going to come back in with the bottom of this. And pour it right over the top. Until you're happy with how that looks. I've saved a little bit of paint just in case I don't like what happens with one of these guys, right? Just in case I need to change something. Pull that down just a tiny bit more. Right there, I think. I'm going to set that right up there. And let that do its thing. And we're going to check out this one. I'm not used to there not being any edge at all, like these canvas boards have no room for error, let me tell you. It's so tiny. And this is going to be so white. Maybe we can pull some of that green and blue back in. I don't want to lose all that white though. That'd be nice. I'm 
and see what this will do. Bring it back because I don't want to lose that green. Like that to be right in the middle there. Perfect. I'm going to set that right there. All right, I'm going to have to look at you in just a second, chat. I can't keep up. I'm sorry. Focus. These are very like the world from space looking to me. like a like an aerial shot a real 63 vest that's a bubble can't have that can't have that You guys can't even see that one. It's too far away. Oh my gosh, this is sticky. All right. Hey, of course, of course, writers, you're welcome anytime. I'm so glad you popped by. Rattle cans, masking off areas. Interesting. It's all spotty. It's Lou. We did your idea tonight. I know. It's really cool. It really does add dimension. Like, it's awesome. But the canvas that I did it on was a canvas I was already not happy with because it doesn't have enough color in it. It's not enough definition. So I really think I need to do it on a canvas with better definition, and it's going to look cool. But it definitely makes it look 3D, like, immediately. It's really cool. I like it. I have to get this stuff off my hands, guys. Um, but I want to scroll up because I want to see what chat I missed. So I'm going to get paint on my mouse. Yeah, I was so excited about it. Liquid cement makes them foggy. Mod Podge, uh, primarily I use matte finish. Uh, I will use a high gloss if I'm doing an over pour, um, like the f like the flower that's up here behind me. Plastic models, pledge for a polish. I'm just catching up. Give me a second. Well, 
Love Corvettes. Harriers are cool to watch, definitely. I know, right? I gotta wash it off. Like, my fingers are actually sticking together. It's so gross. Floetrol doesn't do this. I'm just gonna tell you. This is probably the reason why I wanted to switch in the first place. 69 Chevrolet Camaro. Ginger. It's Mustang or nothing, okay? It's Mustang or nothing. You've just completely broken my heart. I want you to know that. <laughs> just absolutely broke my heart. <laughs> Let me go wash my hands. By the way, if you paint and you don't have a loofah, get one. You see that? Other than my fingernails and my rings, no paint. And it was dry on my hands. Okay, be right back again. Uh, we have a problem, chat. Be right back.
I'm coming back. I'm coming back. All right. Now this is as muddy as it could possibly be, right? And this canvas is still a little wet, but that's okay. I'm gonna use this to pour around the edge. Yes, the dog is a problem. I don't know if the dog has had food or not. And the husband has left. So I'm not real sure what's happened while I've been streaming, but something has. Okay, where's my straw? You guys got to hear me breathing, sorry. Absolutely. We do appreciate service members, that is for sure. I'm going to get out my heat gun. It's going to be a little bit loud. Okay. We're going to start on cold here. And we're going to blow some of this paint around. And I think I want it blown this way.
<coughs> Sorry if that's loud, guys. And we can stretch all that out. So we want to make a frame. Mm, I think I want to pull it down a little bit farther. Pull it back up a tiny bit to give myself some more room. Well, I hear that the husband is back. Uh, so by the way, I've not been explaining my, my process here. I apologize. So acrylic pores happen just organically, right? Um, but that doesn't mean that that's the only way that they happen because you can do them with intention as well, <coughs> right? So this particular one, I want to do uh, some wording on. I want to oh, do some how bad was she, chat? lettering. I wasn't you see my text? mad, no. Oh, dang it. I wasn't mad until I got downstairs and saw that the dog had been in the basement oh. and did a thing. Has he had dinner? Uh, no, I just went and got ours. Okay. That's okay. You're welcome. Thank you. You're dripping on your other little drippy things there. No, no, I'm good. Skull? Move. <clears throat> so, for this particular pour, right, we're not just randomly pouring okay so hey maybe i love that heat gun and you know i only paid like 25 for it and i freaking love it welcome back sleek moss how are you doing maybe so we blew around the edges right so that i could get this nice line of color and i wanted this outline of blue uh, because I'll be putting vinyl lettering all the way across here. So I wanted a nice frame, right? <laughs> Skull, same thing. <laughs> um, so this pour is a little more intentional. Uh, you guys want to see how these coasters are turning out? Because this is pretty cool. I love how they're looking. Yeah. We're going to clear coat those and see if they will work. These are little canvas boards. I wanted to see if they would work as coasters. I thought it would be cool to have little acrylic co pour coasters. Oh, I just dropped that one. Ah. There you go. They look like the world from space to me. I like it. Yeah, and then this canvas will go. Like we could even do a set. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I'm going to do some really nice blue lettering across the top of that one. I think I'm going to really like that. Now, you can do like um, a big overpour where you pour a lot of paint, a lot of paint, a lot of paint. So you pour like a dirty cup full of paint, right? Like, so you've got six colors all lined up here and they're all like in whatever order. And you flooded the canvas in white and then you pour white over the top of that. Then you take a heat gun and blow it all out. It looks really cool. They end up looking like flowers. I'm going to get paint in my hair. But that's okay. 
it washes right out. I've made such a mess, you guys. <laughs> I just pulled out all the things. Pull out all the things. All right. So we're good with all of this. Can pick up all of this mess. It's just mm -hmm. dripping with paint. I'll throw this into my old. I'm definitely nervous about that dripping on my desk. Ah, I feel like I've done a lot. We started with one thing and we ended up with something completely different. Um, so, Etsy store completely updated. Right? It's okay. You're good. Nice. Nice. Hey, little one. Nah, Ginger, you can like Camaro, so there's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> I'm a Mustang girl myself, but you can like Camaros. It's okay. I won't hold it against you. But have a good night. Oh. This heat gun is um, 1,800 watts. It has a low and high setting. And then um, I can control the actual temperature with a dial in the back. It's really nice. Oh my goodness, Lumon, it's the best ever. The painting from Monday that everybody, okay, so on Monday, on We Make It Monday, chat got to pick all of the colors of this painting, right? And it's stunning. So the colors that they picked were dark purple, yellow, orange, teal, emerald green, and we added um, black and white for contrast. But it's really stunning. Like, the depth of color is amazing. Yeah. You say give it here. <laughs> give it here. Um and Lumon picked Lumon picked yellow. And this is not the first painting. This is the first painting that Lumon ever helped with. Little mom picked out those koi to go on top of this. And this, you guys can't see this on camera. There's a blue metallic underneath an algae green that makes this koi pond. And then Little mom picked out the koi and we put them on there in brushed gold foil. Yeah. That's the first painting Little mom ever helped with. That's what I was saying before. I like having you guys as part of this is really, really cool to me. Because then you're in my... You're in all my paintings, and I love that, right? They're all in the store. Oh, I need more butane. He brought me food. I should be eating that. I 100% should be eating that food. I'm gonna eat it. But we gotta light this up first. Because it's got bubbles in it, I can see them and I don't like it. It's almost time. 
It's almost time for what? Oh man, I just got green paint on my face. I can feel it. Almost time for what? <gasps> Your birthday's on Saturday? What you can do? Are you gonna do something fun and exciting? You're getting old? So you're gonna do nothing and go to bed early? <laughs> Because that's what we do now when we're old. It's my birthday. I'm going to do nothing because adulting sucks and it's hard. Right? I'm going to move you guys over here with me. Come here. Come here. Are you? That's awesome, Russ. Well, it makes it easy to, to ship, doesn't it? What the heck did he buy me? What did I get? Well, everybody deserves a chill day. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm going to eat my dinner with y'all. Oh, look at this. Somebody wants me to do big follows. Sorry, you were blocked. Good job, Irish. <gasps> I'm getting hosted. What's up? This is my new friend. My new friend is hosting me. That's nice. Makes me happy. Nothing wrong with dinner with your parents. How are you? I'm eating dinner. <laughs> So, we changed out this whole gallery wall behind me, right? But I have won a diamond painting from Miss Maybe, and I want it to go on that wall. I'm doing really good. We've been doing acrylic pour paintings, and I'm literally eating with paint on my hands. So, that's where we are right now. But my husband bought me food. And I'm starving. Like, freaking starving, okay? <sighs> yeah, this is not healthy at all. Why? Why, maybe? Oh my gosh. It's okay. It's 100%. Why are you worried about it? It's okay. It's okay. I couldn't have got to the post office today if I tried, maybe. There's no way. Not today. I started work at 5 a.m. so that I could get off early so I could work on the Etsy store and so I could go to the post office if it was here. I got done with the Etsy store at 3.55 and at 3.55 it occurred to me that I had deleted at least two of my listings and they have to be put back up but I had to start stream at four and I only had five minutes. <laughs> So I wouldn't, I wouldn't have made it. <laughs> it's been a stupid, stupid busy day. Strawberry shortcake, do you want me to scoot you over here so you can see what we were working on? 
Let me scoot you over here to the work desk so you can see that real quick. No, no, don't be sorry. I'm just saying. Uh, we have four acrylic uh, pour coasters and a canvas there that I will be adding lettering to later. And then on another desk, we have another pour. Um, that's an over pour that we did before those. Just to let you know what we were working on other than you all having to sit here and watch me eat something. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Because I really did do something today. Yeah, it was stupid busy. Work was chaos. Anyway. I'll fix the Etsy store. Right? I kind of like how they're turning out. Because they look like the globe from space. No, I'm going to leave it just like it is. I absolutely love it just exactly the way it is. It's done. It's in the Etsy store. Um, let me pull it up. Why isn't it on the front page of the Etsy store? Because it should be. There it is. Now I've lost Twitch. That's it. It's in there. So I got um, I got the two wreaths and the wreath kit up. I got oil slick reaching up and stand out in the dark ocean. Um, the game characters cutting board. And the Lady Wolf, I'll put in the store today. I, why, why are you guys looking at what, what is, what is happening right now? Nobody says anything. Y'all just let me be an asshole on stream like that. that you're looking at Twitch and not the stores I'm talking to you. Everybody just, just, just let that happen. Nobody said anything. Where'd my tech support at? Y'all killing me. I thought you were looking. I know. Thank you. <laughs> I thought you were looking at the store with me, but you're not. I'm looking at it by myself and you're looking at me. Look at me. Look at me. Oh my goodness. As I was saying, I got the two wreaths that we made with lemons and a kit to make your own. <laughs> uh, oil Slick is the six by six that um, Country and um, In You likes. Reaching Up is one of the paintings that we did when we did the sub giveaway painting with um, Ocean Fairy Asia. And stand out is that four piece vignette that we did that same day. And then here's in the dark ocean. Um, this is our game characters, cutting board, so cute, so cute. This stuff has all been here. And then over here, randomly for no reason, the lady wolf is here, right? So there she is. And I need to take the time um, I need to take the time to figure out what paintings are missing because there's paintings missing. 
and you can see this private listing. It should say private right there and you shouldn't be able to see it, but there it is. So that didn't work out either. That's true, little mom. Anything over $35 in the store is free shipping in the U.S. Because I can't afford free shipping to Denmark or the U.K. Or God forbid our neighbor country, Canada. Shipping to Canada. I literally told a friend of mine from Canada not to follow me on here. Don't even watch me, okay? If you want to buy something, don't do it. <laughs> Just don't do it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> They're like, I'm going to buy all the things. And I was like, you're going to have to drive down and get them then. I'll meet you at the border. It would be easier for me to drive 14 hours that it would be to ship this to Canada. And it would probably cost me less money if I'm honest. It would probably cost me $25 more to drive to Canada than it would be to ship a box that weighs two pounds to Canada. Which is crazy. However, I will tell you that I have learned something about customs, Lumon, since I sent um, the computer decal to Crazy. So when I sent that, um, I did not send it marked as a gift. I did not send it marked as from individual to individual. And I did not write on customs, um, on the custom sheet. I just wrote that it, it was, um, I wrote that it was vinyl, okay? So what I should have wrote was computer sticker um, or whatever, okay? Because apparently, and I think this is why his took so long, because apparently vinyl can be a lot of different things, right? Vinyl can be records. Vinyl can be, yeah, okay. So I think that that's why it took so long in customs. Yellow! So good to see you, what's up? Um. Yeah, anyway, I don't think that that was the normal time that it takes to get there, right? Because I'm shipping, I'm eating my dinner, Asian, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you have to be here to see this part. We've been doing acrylic pours. I've got paint all over my hands and I'm eating my dinner because I'm freaking starving and this potato is cold, so that's gross, but you know, whatever. Um, so I can get stuff to the UK. So like lemon stuff took eight days. That's it. Eight days. Right? So it cleared my customs in two and it cleared her customs in three. So even if it sits at your customs for 30, it would still get to you two months earlier. No, I do not. Mm -mm. So, um, I pay when I list an item, and then I pay every single month that that item is listed. So it, that, and that's only twenty cents, right? Um, but then Etsy charges me fees for advertising and all kinds of other things, and that averages about. Um, 
three to four dollars per painting. Right, but if I send them as a gift and not as business rest, they don't have to do that. I pay customs here and they pay nothing when they get it, so they don't have to wait. It goes straight to um, their address, which saves a lot of time and then they don't have to pay any customs charges. Um, so each painting averages probably, for the paintings anyway, um, somewhere between $3.50 and $5, depending on how long it's been in the store, if they ran any ads on it, which is some kind of magic because I've never sold a thing out of an ad they've run, so I don't know how that works. But that's about what it costs me. Um, but my costs, my real costs are all in materials. I mean, that's, that's where my costs are at. I have off-site ads turned off. I still get charged. Um, yep. There's, I don't know what the fees are for. Okay, I can't actually show you guys this because it's going to tell you, like, um, personal stuff about me, you know what I mean, and about people who have ordered from me. So let me look this up real quick, and I'll tell you, I'll give you an example. This is what Etsy ads looks like for me because I have it turned off, right? So it says get started because it's off. Um, That doesn't show it to me. That doesn't either. <laughs> oh, here it is, here it is. I found it, I found it, I'm sorry. Nope, I did not. The heck, where is it? You got time, Mrs.? Uh, no, give me a sec. Did you eat your dinner? No, I'm not finished. Guys, I can't figure this out. Let me open up a new window so I can see you. Right, that's turned off. Um, Ten percent normal fee and payment processing fee, not Etsy ads. Etsy. Oh, I understand what you're saying, Russ. I got you. I got you.
<laughs> okay. See that? No offside ads. We have fixed that problem. So that'll save me 15% off the top. That's what you're saying? All right, then. Well, now I'm making more money, y'all. Thanks, Russ. I appreciate it. Selfies with Mrs. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Is it sitting in your cart? <laughs> Are you just sitting there hovering over the button thinking about it? Yeah, exactly. Well, that will really, really help me. Because on a few of the things that I've sold, not that I've sold that much, but on a few of the things that I've sold, after shipping, I didn't even break even. Which is not good, right? Well, once I hit 10K in sales, I won't be that worried about it. I mean, currently I've sold 18 things. <laughs> in uh, six months. So I think we'll be all right for a while. And we have made ninety one things in that time. Guys, I said we were almost at a hundred. We've made ninety one items in that time on stream. True, Russ. You're exactly right, maybe. Miss 89 is following me. How you been getting here? <laughs> How do you know? <coughs> How do you know when I'm streaming? You made me choke. How do you do that? How do you know when to show up if you're not following somebody? Miss Maybe tells you? Is she like, get your ass to miss a stream? Because that's hilarious. <laughs> so you mean to tell me you're like not hitting the follow button anywhere because you're just like, it's fine. Maybe you'll tell me where to be, where I need to be, when I need to be there. And <laughs> Oh, her Twitch shares it. <laughs> I thought she was like calling you up like, hey, right? I know there's a reason that Beta Cat's there, right? E-commerce store, steal people to it from the Etsy store as long as you aren't telling people you have the same item in your e-com that you have on Etsy. It's not against their TOS. Interesting. Yeah, people have been leaving Etsy by droves. It's like looking at Mixer all over again. It's kind of intimidating to me. There's all these people on Redbubble, um, Fox is on something different. I don't remember what she said. Um, but they're all over the place. So when I opened my first store in Etsy, it's not this one. I created this one specifically for stream. When I opened my first store in Etsy, um, I paid 20 cent listing fees and nothing else. They didn't charge anything else until they sold. Uh, 
Ah, uh, I see what you're saying, Russ. What kind of wings do you need? I now have paint in my mouth. Yeah, I have green paint in my mouth. That's gross. I just grossed myself out. That's not okay. I mean, are they like wings I can make? It's weird that you would ask for that right now. I mean, you're not asking, but that you would bring that up right now. Because I literally just said that, um, here, I'm going to show everybody my Discord. Let me just share this with you. You see this? This is my last post in Discord. Next Monday, we're going to attempt to make wings. You could do it along with me using any medium you like and post the pictures in here. <laughs> I posted that at 11 a.m. today. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Russ. I agree. You don't have Discord. That's okay. Okay, I got to wash my hands. And I can still feel whatever this is in my mouth, and I don't like it. Oh. So can you guys give me a quick break? Okay. That is too funny. That's too funny. Like, I can't get anybody to answer me back. I want a pair of wings. Well... Are you just going to lurk and sit on that button in the Etsy store and think about it? Is that what you're doing, Lil Mon? Just going to stare at it? Just stare at it nonstop? This is Lil Mon right here, you guys. This is Lil Mon in the Etsy store. Oh, thank you, Miss 89. That's Lil Mon right there. You're just looking at it. Just thinking about it. <laughs> You had to close the website. You couldn't look at it anymore. Oh, that's too funny. Or else you're going to buy it. Ask Crazy if he wants something. Tell me. I'll pull one of them off of Etsy, and you can only only pay shipping for one of them, and I'll put everything in one box. How you know I didn't already, Miss Maybe? You don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. The person crazy that I just talked about made that for me for a surprise. His name is actually Crazy Lake Jans. He, um, he streams on uh, Facebook. He's a good guy. Uh, I'm currently right this minute. I'm using Streamlabs. On Thursdays, I use uh, regular OBS for creative ads for their for their account. I'm gonna be right back because maybe's right. I I gotta go. Lomon, if you're still listening, Crazy wants me to send him some loofahs. 
and this is the perfect opportunity. I'm not, I'm not trying to pressure you, so please don't take it that way. If you guys do order anything, please remind me to send the loofahs in the box. Okay, I'm coming back. Oh, wait. Miss 89, I think, I think, uh, it's okay. I had to take a quick break. I was not talking in pee and I had just washed my hands. Thank you very much. You can hear me pee and I have great paranoia about this mic when I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> like, I don't only mute it, I turn it completely off because I'm scared to death about it. <laughs> so. Oh, no, you're not. I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna get really excited this 89 because earlier today I had 419. So I thought you were gonna have um, what some people consider a, a special number. But I think you're 424, so you missed it. I don't know who's 420. Um, you need to find out how to do a transition like that. So you need to find out how to put it into Streamlabs, Russ, or how to create one. In California, it's a special number, right? There's, yeah. So I don't know who got that one. Maybe Sleek Moss did or somebody. Okay, so.
things I wanted to talk about. I have a written down list. Pendulum painting. Guys, I have no idea how to do this. I think that you are my follower number 420, Sleek Moss. I really do. I'm going to check. <clears throat> you are. It's a special number for some people. I don't know if that's a special number for you, but that's what number you are. Um, I have no idea how to do pendulum paintings. <laughs> Do I know what you are? What do you mean? Follower number. I don't, Kecko. I can figure it out. What's up, Gorilla? Yeah, so here's how I had thought about doing it, right? So I wanted to do it on a small canvas pendulum painting. Jet Set, what's up? Um, I wanted to do it on a small canvas and um, I wanted to do the, the pour, right, the pendulum from my camera arm. Here, I'm gonna scoot you guys back over to this desk real quick. So, 8 by 10 canvas, right? And right above here, where, where this camera that I'm, I'm wiggling is, I wanted to hang the pendulum from it, right? And then there's a container. Yeah, exactly, exactly, Sleek Moss. That would, that I would do a pendulum swing, right? on a canvas. So my thought was is that I would make it small. The problem is the only things that I can find that that would drip or pour paint consistently are all big. They're all made for like huge spaces. So I haven't figured out how to do it. So that piece is that's on our ideas list. Um that I haven't done yet. Um, let me grab my list. Uh, game console skins, right? Which, of course, we just got the first piece of that tonight, which is helpful. Uh, suitcase cat bed for beta. Refinishing a humidor. Um, and... Yeah, it'd have to be like tiny. I just can't figure out the container that I need. Okay. Like, I mean, can I just poke a hole in a container maybe? I thought about using like, you know, those picnic ketchup models. <laughs> I thought about using one of those, sealing the top of it and making a smaller hole and seeing if that would work. Like what I need to do is come up with like a variety of containers and us just have a test stream and see if we can make it happen. Right? Um, <laughs> exactly. Uh, the only other thing is a Rocky Horror Picture Show. Um, where we all watch it together, right? Um, but I can't do it. Rocky Horror Picture Show isn't available and I'm not allowed to stream it. So that idea I can't do. Um, and those are the only things that are left for ideas of stuff to do in the Discord. Mm-hmm. 
right? They're developing nicely. They'll continue to develop as this, as this dries too. They'll, they'll continue to change. I'm pretty pleased with these little coaster guys. I guess you just throw it at your monitor. <laughs> I, f I was more worried about the rice. Like that's what's gonna make the mess. <laughs> or the squirt guns. Like that's even worse. Um, I might be able to do it in Discord, but I don't know. My problem is, is that I can't, I can't get access to the movie. So we may have to figure out something different for, for our Halloween movie. So we've, ne I've never even had a movie night, but that was in the ideas channel. So, um, so yeah, that's the last stuff that we have to do. And then I've done them all. I've done them all. I know you can probably hear him clicking, right? Play Minecraft. Yep. You know what? We're supposed to stream Minecraft on Sundays and I haven't for three Sundays in a row. We have a realm. We have a Minecraft realm that's open to the community. Any of you guys can join it. Okay. Um, and it's pretty chill, right? We've got a little community center built that gets you started. And then um, there's a fence and you can build anywhere outside that fence that isn't somebody else's place, right? Yeah, I drew out a blue dog for you, Kecko. <laughs> I drew out a blue dog. I haven't actually made it yet, but I drew out a blue dog. It's so cute. It has big eyes. It looks very sweet. Um, but no, I have not gotten in there and built it yet. Um, but I did. I sat here. I sat here one evening after work and I was like, oh, this, is, this would be perfect. I was thinking about thinking about what to do for you. That's in my little private Minecraft creative world. That's a, that's a different one. The realm is survival and we can all play together, right? So 10 of us can play at one time. And it was built for uh, the Wreck by Us stream team. Um, but we've opened it up to um, my community. It's on Hulu. Isn't that the remake? Because the only one that I could find was the remake that I'm allowed to stream. The original Rocky, Rocky Horror. I don't believe I can stream. I could be wrong. I'll look again. I don't know that I actually looked on Hulu. I did Amazon Prime and I did Netflix. Um... I don't think I looked on Hulu. Yeah, I'll look again then. So, anyway, um, I play uh, with everybody on Sundays, and then on occasion when I can get in the realm, I do. Um, but Lil Mon, Scar, Ginger Ninja, Queen Cass, um, Grim, MP. We've got I don't we've got quite a few people. Um, crazy but for the most part we've usually got like you know three or four of us that are in there puttering around yeah my husband crazy um so we have we have room if somebody else wants to join and we do it through discord so little mom's cat tree yes it's the best i wonder if his cats are still there I mean, I made a million cats. <laughs> I 
I built Lil Mon a giant cat tree with a bunch of cats around it on an island. Um, and then I built, uh, because Lil Mon and Crazy Legs Jan are roommates, I built them a very modern house uh, that had a dual stream set up where they could sit side by side and be on computers. And then behind them was a 3D printer. And I think there's two beds in it and not much else. <laughs> it's a very pretty house, though. It's very, very modern. No bathroom, no nothing. The only necessities. <laughs> Streaming. <laughs> and being on the computer, that's it. That's all you get to do. So you can hang out with the cats or you can be on the computer. There's no, no in between. There's nothing else. All right, so this wall behind me, <laughs> yes, yes, it does have creepy baby skeletons. I want to rearrange this wall. I want to redo the gallery wall. It's so hard to see everything. I mean, you can see that mod painting, can't you? But yeah, I want to redo the gallery wall. I think what I'd like to do is move the geodes over here to this side. And I'm really tempted to do like lines like in a store where I've got like, um, well my head's not in the way, right? Like the 11 by 14's lined up and then the um, 12 by 12's and then the 8 by 10's like put them in rows by size of canvas like you would see in a store just because I thought it would be nice and you know symmetrical might be kind of cool okay so I don't know I may play around with it um, do you guys want to help me with the Etsy store real quick? While I'm in between projects? We could consider it like, um, <laughs> like a treasure hunt, right? Because when I went to put these listings up today, I can copy a listing, okay? and then make a new listing out of it? Why not, Luman? Are you having trouble getting in again? Um, do you want me to pull it up and see if there's an issue? No fail code? I can pull it up real quick. Um, anyway, so I was going to ask, if I hold up a painting, can you tell me if it's in the store, right? Here, I'll move you guys over here with me real quick. so that I can see which ones I'm missing because I'm 100% sure that I deleted listings today and I didn't have time. Uh, oh, you're in? All right, well, hang on. I got to get back out of this. <laughs> Don't be sorry. It's okay. I just happen to not have paint on my hands right this second. 
<laughs> so I could check. <laughs> Last time this happened, I couldn't. I was like, uh, I can't do anything about it right now. Right? <laughs> I can't fix this. I'm sorry. All right, let's pull this over here. Okay. So. All right, tell me if, um, I know that the new ones are up here, right? So, is this painting in there? Let's see if you can find that one. I'm pretty sure those two are, I can start with the front page. Those two are, that one is, purple galaxies are, I don't think this painting is in here. Okay, so this painting is not in here, for sure. All right, so there's one. Um, Iron Iris is in there. The bird is in there. Down the rabbit hole, that's in there. This one's in there. Our galaxy's in there. Um, The two 12 by 12, I know that one is. Is this one in there? It's 12 by 12. It doesn't have a, a painting tag in the back of it. I gotta fix that too. Country said when she got her painting it didn't have a tag in the back of it. Yes it is, excellent. Um, are the koi fish in there? Lomon, the koi pond, is that in there? Yes, Penrill Galaxy, exactly. And then these two. Koi Pond's there, I see it. These two are in there. Um, chameleon? See in there? He's not in there. Uh, this geode painting? Oh, let me bring that down. I'm sorry. Okay, that one's in there. Uh, that's in there, that's in there. Um, this is the bull galaxy. And alone in the wood? 
No. Okay, that's three. This is not a good sign, guys. Alone in the wood? Yes. <laughs> uh, the two face paintings, there should be two of them that are this orange tone that have the, the half silhouette. Okay. Um, the two chain pole paintings, the red, black, and white one, and the black and blue, yes, both of these? Is that what you're saying yes to? Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, this teal oyster shell gal galaxy. Ah, I got you. The, the kind of green and purple? 12 by 12? Yes? Okay, well then it's not as bad as... Um, should be two large cutting boards and two smaller size cutting boards. This isn't in there. I know that's not in there. This is an eight by 10, it can go up here. That's not in the store either. Queen, shenanigans, Yoda, monster shadow. <coughs> Um, and the game characters, right, that we just did? Okay. This was a yes, right? Because I didn't put it back in the, in the thing. Wait. It's 12 by 12? Yeah? Okay, good. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five of the 12 by 24 geode paintings. I'm pretty sure those are there, right? One, two. Three, four, uh, where's the carnelian one? One, two, three, four. The carnelian geode painting isn't up. It's the first one I put up. No, it's the second one. This isn't in the store. What the ever loving? It's in the other orientation. Do I have a bad picture and I'm just not seeing it? Oh, I see what you're saying, because it's because I put in the yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm sitting here with one, two, three, four, five, six paintings. Well, if you include this one, it's seven. But this was never up there. Six paintings that used to be in the Etsy store that aren't up right now. That sucks. And that's all of them, right? I mean, other than Scars, Scars is still sitting here. Okay. 
Okay. So we have to fix that. It's a nice variety. One 12 by 24, two 11 by 14s, four 8 by 10s. It's fine. It's fine. So we haven't made 91 things. We've made two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've made 98. It was closer to 200 than I thought. We did two paintings today. We did our hundredth thing on stream today. What? Oh, guys, we made a hundred things together. I've been trying to keep track because I knew it was close. That's so cool. Right? It does. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, both, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, wait, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How the hell did you get VIP acting like this, little one? <laughs> Who gave you that diamond? Don't jump up there. Tracks is I in my paintings. Okay, well then I guess uh, I'll be putting all the rest of this stuff up in the store. Uh, Lamont, don't buy anything without using that sub link. You know about that, right? In the Discord. In subscribers only, last post in the sub only channel. You click that link, it takes you to the Etsy store, you get 25% off. I thought about it for a second when you said that you were in there, and I, I meant to ask you, did you use that link? And I, we were talking about other stuff, and I forgot. And it just occurred to me. I was like, oh. All right. So. It's 7.30. I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to figure out what to do uh, about the fact that this stuff's not up. <laughs> I'll probably cover your shipping, honestly. Or come close. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try and get these posted so that my Etsy store is, like, good and I don't have to be stressed about it because I need less stress. 100%. Less stress is good. Let's see who we would like to... Ra oh, I know who we're raiding. He's playing a scary game, though. Is it close? Good. God, I'm glad I said something. I would have felt really bad if you did that without using that 25% off. I felt super guilty because I can't undo it. Yeah, we're gonna go. Um, we're gonna go raid Rojo, guys, and he's playing uh, Phasmophobia. So, if you don't want to see a scary ghost game, I'm sorry. Jump out. But I want to go raid Rojo and say hey to him. Um, 
and I will see you guys uh, tomorrow, 4 o'clock. You were driving. Oh my goodness. Don't twitch and drive. That's not good. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll talk to y'all on Discord, all right? Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate y'all so much. And thank you so much for helping me with the store. I can't even tell you how much stress this is going to relieve from my life. So, can't thank you enough. I appreciate y'all. Okay, we're going to go raid Rojo. So, like I said, he's playing Phasmophobia. If you don't like scary stuff like that, then don't come with us. That's perfectly okay. Um, but I will see you guys soon, all right? Have a good night.